This is that episode. Um, as you can see, the car is in the bay. Um, so last episode we did the kind of a kind of reveal, but not a reveal of how the car was going to sit. Um, That's still not going to be this video, by the way. It's still not going to be this video. <laughs> I mean, they'll see it, but they'll it's not going to be like featured. Ah, there you go. Secrets. Secrets. <laughs> For the entertainment. And um, so Phil delivered this, he has done the air ride, he's rebuilt the car, he's uh, pulled the interior back in, he's done a fantastic job doing, laying down a whole new carpet uh, for, the, for, the, for the car, in the carpet, in the car, inside the car, the interior, he's done the interior. Everyone that's been working on the car has been very good at what they do, you know, whether or not it's Cobra and uh, Ed doing the interior, whether or not it's Custom Colors doing the paintwork and some of the fabrication work, and as well as the install company doing the fabrication work, or Detroit Steel's making the, the wheels, everyone that's been working on the car is very good at what they do. This is when it gets to the point where I can do something that I'm passionate about and love doing, and that's the detailing bit. So I finally got it in the bay, I'm gonna start refining the paint, really bringing out that gloss that custom colors have put into it, and just refining it and making it really nice and detailed for the show. Well, the show is in two days. It's currently that's two days I get to detail it. Right, let's do this. Oh, I've already stopped recording. <laughs> Why do you do that now? <laughs> <laughs> Say it again. Like, like, share, and subscribe. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> product we're using Dale? So we're using the 210. Yeah. So this is a refining kind of tool. So I don't want to hit it with a hard compound um, because it's already been kind of like compounded at the body shop. All I want to do is start refining that finish. So hitting it with a nice soft pad, a nice soft kind of polishing aid 
is just going to enhance that gloss but also refine the finish or remove any kind of any rotary hazing that may be there so we saw the roof being painted way before the body was um, so what this is is multiple layers of kind of candies body color lace effect and metal flake um, so it was a real kind of nostalgic 70s style of painting and um, like I say, didn't want to do it too much. I know it's a big old roof and there's a lot of it, but I think it's just a nice little accent for the paint and it really complements the Copper Sunset paint as well. And really harking back to a kind of old school retro kind of 70s funk soul kind of low rider kind of vibe. It's incredible, like this here is brown, that is red. Yeah. Like, on camera it looks ridiculous. So the candy that's in it is quite kind of red, darky, ready kind of tinty candy. And then we did the lace effect in the body color itself so you get that nice kind of contrast from the brown. Then the fleck itself, which is the base layer, is a real bright silver. Mega cool. Yeah, it's really cool. I love it. Now I'm going to Okay, you do you. <laughs> I want to go for the gold class on this, solid because it's old school and cool, and gold class is old school and cool. Um, but also, because it is such a rich kind of, it is a metallic, but it's also quite rich and kind of browny. You can see how brown it is. So for that, I do want, because gold class is part synthetic, part canuba, it's going to boost that kind of fleck in there, but it's really going to give that brown a real depth of gloss as well, and it's also going to give the roof a nice, um, obviously wet look to it mm. now typically we say that solid colors good for uh, the gold class but it's also because it is such a light brown it's going to give it that real brightness but also help the metallic properties that are in there nice one. it's called the, the barber of seville paradox the barber of seville yeah so he, he's a barber yeah in seville that can only bar only shave the men who cannot shave themselves right yeah but because he's able to shave himself he can't shave himself but that then means that he can save himself shave himself it's a paradox think about it the bar barber of seville he can, he, can only shave the law is that he can only shave those who cannot shave themselves okay so because he is a barber he can shave himself in theory yes. but because he can shave himself he can't but then because he can't he can. Oh, he is a lost man. <laughs> I recorded I all of that. <laughs> I sat outside Phil's place <laughs> for a few minutes thinking about that. <laughs> Ironically. <laughs> <laughs>